Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast. Listeners, gamers, geeks, grown-ups, and internet, welcome back to Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast, injecting video gaming shenanigans straight in your veins, right out of northern Arizona, somewhere in Washington, in a van down by the river. This is season number two, episode 102. This is a weekly podcast where we talk about everything and anything, but mainly video games. And today, I'm your host, Chris, and the full crew is here once again. This episode contains crude, dark, adult humor that may unintentionally offend others. We are just kidding around the majority of this episode. If this episode in any way makes you upset or triggered in any way, just simply stop listening. Holy shit. Well, let's start this thing, shall we? Yes, sir. No, yes, ma'am. Yes, massa. Boy. It's time for What You Drinking and What Have You Been Playing. All right, so let's start off this week with John. What are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? I'm drinking a course, and I have been playing God of War, and my children begged me enough that I got Minecraft on my computer, and I've been playing Minecraft with them. Minecraft. What? I hate it so much, but they love it, and it's family building relationship time. Not worth it. And I want to stab myself in the eye. Like I said, not worth it. Well, if but, it's for the PC, you should get the skin packs or the uh, mods, the uh, mods for it. Okay, I don't know what those are. It makes it like so it doesn't look stupid, eight bit. You can actually get it to where it turns it up to where it you know looks a little bit better. It doesn't you can look be Minecraft. Real boy. To me, it's I just don't like the the whole point of the game is farming, and I don't want to play a game where I have to go farm. Which well, is why I stopped my playing Conan, Conan Exiles. Yep, <laughs> it's a survival game. Yeah, naturally. Well, so is Minecraft. Yep, naturally. It's basically, the same game. It's kind of like what started it all in that genre. But anyways. Yeah. But yeah, so that's so, um, me in a nut. Much nut. Oh my gosh, nut fell. It's the bee's knees. <laughs> okay, all right, straight off the meat rack, guy. Ready? Nice. Okay, let's move on down to Miguel. What are you drinking, and what have you been playing this week, buddy? I'm drinking Mountain Dew Code Red, and the only thing I played in the last week is Overwatch, like this afternoon, and maybe one day last week. So yeah, what have you been doing? procrastinating moving like slowly doing shit oh man that sucks dude yeah it does i hate it i'm just trying not to think about uh tomb raider being out because yeah i want it wanted it for two weeks and i haven't bought it because i don't i know i don't have the time yeah but it's okay uh next week i'll be able to download it in like 13 seconds so yeah, you'll you'll get your time. You get your Lara Croft in, so getting it in, Lara Croft. There Whoa. it is. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, is that it, buddy? Uh, yep. All right, let's move on down to Joe. What are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? Uh, I'm drinking Kilt Lifter, and what have I been playing? Uh, I downloaded Live Lock, which was free on Xbox uh, Gold. I played the shit out of that. Played Assassin's Creed Origins, played some Spider-Man, and I did get the um, Switch Online. So I was playing the NES Classic Library, and which is really cool. Um, yeah, that's me. What about you, Prodigy? 
All right. I haven't been gaming too much, but uh, let's see. Start off with my Xbox. I played some of the RoboCraft. Played some of that last night. Um, and then played on my Switch as well. Played some of the NES uh, library as well. Not not too much gaming this week, really. Um, played a few other Switch games, uh, some Mario Kart and some other shit, but not really gaming that much right now. Just more being a dad. So, and doing house housework and shit. So, that's pretty much me. Kind of a dry week this week. All right, so let's move on down to the news. Joe, you ready, buddy? Yes, I'm. This is Weekly News, keeping us informed and up to date in the gaming industry. All right, this week, VG247 is our source, as usual. Um, first headline, let's talk about PS4, Sony Ponies. All you Sony Ponies can now play online with Xbox One, Switch, PC, and mobile players on Fortnite. Yay, starting today. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha. Whatever. Alpha. Doesn't matter. They're going to make it go anyway, so... Uh, starting today, Fortnite players will be able to use their PS4 accounts on the PC, Xbox One, Switch, as well as Android and iOS. This is an open beta launch for the feature available to all players. It comes on the one-year anniversary of the Battle Royale mode's launch. If you fancy giving it a whirl yourself, we've also put together a Fortnite... Well, we haven't. VG247 has. They put together a cross-play guide uh, on how to get it working. In effect, this means Fortnite players will be able to carry their progress items purchased and all stats across every platform Fortnite is available on. Previously, PS4 players were locked from using their accounts on the Switch or Xbox One. Setting aside any technical challenges that might arise during the beta, Kodera said that this process is just getting started, and he promised to update the community on exactly what that means for other games in the future. Today, the communities around uh, some games have evolved to the point where cross-platform experiences add significant value to players. In recognition of this, we have completed a thorough analysis of the business mechanics required to ensure that PlayStation experience, um, that the PlayStation experience for our users remains intact today and in the future as we look upon the platform. This represents a major policy change for SIE, and we are now in the planning process across the organization to support this change. The beta does not have an end date as of yet, but it's bound to get a lot of use when Season 6 starts this week. It's no secret that Sony has caught a lot of flack for being the only holdout against cross-platform multiplayer. The company was called out by fans and competitors on multiple occasions until Sony Interactive Entertainment America CEO Sean Layden revealed in June that a solution was in the works. Though Fortnite is unquestionably the most popular game right now, and certainly the one whose player base applied the most pressure, there's a lot we still don't know about this policy change and what it means for other smaller games. Hopefully we won't have to wait long for that. Yay, we win! Fuck you, Sony! It's Um, happening. It's happening. Here's my question. Why the fuck do they need an alpha? What the fuck for? As uh, companies have said in the past, it's literally just the flip of a switch. What the fuck do they need a quote-unquote alpha for? That was probably Sony's doing. Think about it. I mean, they're afraid. They're probably like, let's do an alpha just in case the Xbox and the other people uh, try to hurt Sony players. So let's do an alpha. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Let's do an alpha in case we get an STD through the internet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a it's their condom statement, that's all. Yeah, they don't want an ex boner. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. I think it was just the fact that st- I guess statistics August was the highest month for Fortnite and PlayStation saw that and now they saw those dollar signs and they're like, Okay, we'll play. And now it's too Absolutely. Late. That's that's base that's probably what I'm thinking it is. So Yeah, you probably nailed it. Money. Money, money. Uh, more PlayStation news. PlayStation Now subscribers can download games for offline play. So Sony is going to roll out a new feature for PlayStation Now. The ability to download titles for offline play. 
Uh, PlayStation Now subscribers will soon um, be able to do so. Sony announced the new feature starting, um, stating, excuse me, almost all PS4 games will be available for download. This includes PS2 games remastered for the PS4, but it does not include PS3 titles, as they are, quote, unquote, not compatible to run natively on the PS4. Whatever that means. Um, downloaded games will also support all purchased DLC, microtransactions, add-ons, and PS4 Pro enhancements. Sony explained how players can download it, and yeah. So if you've already started a game via streaming on PS Now and want to continue playing locally, you can, tra- you can transfer your save file from PS Now Cloud to your console with the PC- PS Plus membership. This is done by transferring the save file from the Now Cloud to your PS Plus Cloud storage. And yeah. Users will still need to connect their PS4 to the internet every few days to verify their PS Now subscription. This is the case even if only playing downloaded games. The download feature will be gradually rolled out to PS Now subscribers over the next few days. So, yay. And not on top of that, they have the new fucking PS Mini coming out. Um, yeah, woo. Yeah, classic, woo. Joe, classic. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Here's here's some more updates, more news for that. Um, of course, we've been waiting forever for Red Dead Redemption 2. And, um, yeah, here's some things. Hunting gameplay. Hunting plays a big part in Red Dead 2, as you are living off the untamed land, since you will have the option of scouring the land for meat and pelts. This massive world will provide bountiful opportunities. In fact, there are around 200 animal species, including a range of fish, birds, and land animals. Each animal will have its own unique behavior. Uh, Predators will hunt. Nocturnal animals will hide away during the day. And the ecosystem will interact in surprising ways. So, Does that mean there's going to be shit on the ground? Probably. (laughs) It says... uh, That would be surprising. Oh, hey, look! Bear shit! Deer, bison, and pronghorn traverse in the plains in large herds. Scavengers quickly sniff out carrion. Uh, sockeye salmon leap upstream. Wolves attack in packs. Geese fly in fixed formation. Possums play dead. Rodents scamper into the tree hollows. Grizzly bears bluff charge when threatened. And birds of prey soar on therm- thermals. Um, they all form part of a complex ecosystem and must continually fight for their p- place on the food chain. The wilderness is at once a bountiful and perilous place for both man and beast, and any predator can quickly turn prey. So I'm thinking it's going to be like Far Cry, where you're going to see like just random shit happen, like a bear taking down a deer, or bear in a river eating the salmon, something like that. Um, of course, the, the hot topic right now for Red Dead is the horse balls. Um, balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rockstar has given fans what they really want in Red Dead 2, horse balls. Horse balls? Yes. Wow. Fans have marveled over the inclusion of ever... Marveled. Marveled, yeah. <laughs> in, marveled, yeah, no. Uh, in the inclusion of ever more realistic looking horse anuses for years, and oh, Rockstar God. has taken it up a step further, this time with horse balls. That will shrink in the cold. And have oh my your, God. And will and have generous swing about them. Exactly what you need in the next gen gaming experience. Yeah. <laughs> so. Wow. So you will be able to customize your horse. There are nineteen in four K too. Yeah, there are nineteen breeds of horse, from Appaloosas to Arabians to Shires to Mustangs, each of which handles differently with its own defined char- characteristics. Horses can be captured and broken. Purchased from stables or acquired by more underhanded means, of course. A horse, of course. Can you break them by kicking them in the giant balls? I don't know. You'd probably get kicked in the head if you did that. <laughs> that would be funny if they added that in the video. Horse kicked in your face. Um, so it says your horse is your constant companion, and you will rely on them just as heavily as any of your fellow gang members, so it is important to take good care of your your horse. by keeping of course. A- by keeping it groomed, well fed, you will start to see improvements in stamina, performance, handling, and it will become less skittish as the bond grows between you. With 59 different styles of coat and a huge range of customizable tack, including saddles, horns, stirrups, spurs, 
You can create a horse that is truly your own and develop a personal and unique relationship as you explore the world together. Okay, mini games. So the, we'll the big ahead. question that I have, John, are you getting it? Mm, maybe. Because I know you weren't you weren't a fan of GTA, right? Not really. So I don't know. I mean, it 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 seems cool, but I'm. It's it's like it's an open world thing again, right? It should be like. Uh, well, it's going to have a single okay. player release initially, so you'll get the story, and then later, uh, Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption Online is going to come out. So. That's so when we get the posse so it's, it's going to be two separate games, really, but it's just going to be mm-hmm. like GTA Online and GTA Five. I I might get it. I I don't know. I like uh, playing uh, Assassin's Creed. I kind of got tired of the whole open world concept where there's so much thing, so many things you can do, even if you are playing the story by yourself. That it's I don't know. I might get it. We'll see. Okay, so uh, mini games. You'll be able to play card games such as poker, um, socializing with your campmates as recommended, and bonding with them over a friendlyish game of cards. There's a rumor that dominoes may also be featured in the game. Whoop, whoop. Uh, Five Finger Filet will also be in Red Dead Redemption. And, um, yeah. So, you know that, where you got to tap the knife mm-hmm. between your fingers. Um, so the release date, October 26, 2018, for PS4, Xbox One. Uh, originally, the game was due out spring, but pushed back. So... As far as customization, there's tons of customizations as far as, like, your beard's going to grow in real time, just like in The Witcher. Um, You can trim your beard, clothing options. Um, You know, a captain, they'll have assless chaps. I know you'll want those. Yeah, and and you'll have a base camp, and you'll have the option of customizing your base camp. So that's kind of cool as well. Uh, so allies will comment on your deeds contextually, and the responses will be different each time you visit. So I'm pretty sure that they'll have NPCs at your base camp. Uh, you can upgrade certain aspects of the camp, such as unlocking additional hitching posts, stocks of food, ammo, and new fast travel points. Your sleeping area can also be customized with rugs, hunting trophies, and more. Oh boy! Oh boy! So the online beta for Red Dead Online will be sometime in November. They haven't officially announced it yet. Um. Yeah. So, do they do they mention anything about those hideouts that that we can have? Like, other players can see where those hideouts are, and if you have NPCs, if we do get them, I don't know if they said that officially, but do you think that we'll be able to attack each other's hideouts and shit? Or did they say that? I did not see anything as far as hideouts go. Um, okay. But hmm. let's see, online co-op. Solo with friends, much like GTA 5 Online. The online portion uses the gameplay of Red Dead Redemption 2 and will be updated just like GTA Online. So there's no mention of a Wild West Battle Royale mode, but uh, recent information information dump mentioned that there would be multiplayer modes titled Revive and Survive and Money Grab. So yeah, nothing yet as far as bases go. Okay, interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, let's see. Next... Do, 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 do. I'm just, I'm just, there's so much shit in this thing. Um, next, okay, mouse and keyboard support is officially coming to Xbox One. I know we've, we've said this before, but it's official. And they're going to announce it at the, um, the XO18 uh, conference at Mexico City. But um, players will soon be able to use a mouse and keyboard with their console to play games that support them. Um, yeah. So uh, Razer's the one that's going through that, right? Razer uh, accessories. Okay, yeah, they said it was unfair for some because they do the cross-platform play for those that have controllers. They want Xbox people or you know Xbox owners to have the, just as fair an advantage. Um, and you are right, Razer is the one to produce uh-huh. the new R A Z E R, and they um, are producing the USB um, mouse and keyboard. Okay. So cool. not just any mouse and keyboard will work. Um, beep, 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 beep. 
It doesn't say. See, John, Joe has answers when you ask him questions, damn it. See, with that in mind, no, he, confirmed- didn't. he said it doesn't say. <laughs> well, the article doesn't say. Shit, I don't know. I would assume so because there's some, there's some um, keyboards that you can plug in now, but it all depends on the game and if it supports it. So, mouse and keyboard support will first roll out into preview members in October. Warframe is the first game to get support for mouse and keyboard, and it's the one that will be used to test the feature. So as for hardware, Spencer revealed that all existing keyboard and mouse peripherals, peripherals, Boom, there it is, wired or wireless, will work on the Xbox One. Woo-hoo. Thanks to the the native support of USB HID. So, if you're looking for an upgrade, Razer is going to provide an upgrade for you. Um, it looks like a lapboard style setup, similar to the ones already produced by Corsair and Rocket. Um, this style is perfect for playing mouse keyboard games on the couch, but you don't have to pay a bit of extra. But you do have to pay a bit of extra for pleasure. Razer's new product and more of the uh, games to first support mouse and keyboard will be announced in November at the FanFest XO18 in Mexico City. So, Okay. That's all I got for the news. Did all you right. Just say you have to pay extra for pleasure? Yes, for Xbox pleasure, yes. Oh, okay. all right so let's move on down to the demonics dates to those damn goddamn dates and the money that we're going to spend miguel are you ready guy uh yes maybe shut up video i have the mute button but it's going okay i was trying to look at the keyboard and a fucking ad popped up what i've been playing Oh, just kidding. We're not there. <laughs> What's coming out this week? <laughs> Is that a name of a back, game? Whatever they're playing. I look back at my Word document. This fucking ad in my ear is distracting me. <laughs> look what you did, you little jerk. Demonic States. Keeping us on track with what video games are coming out soon. <laughs> Nine twenty six, we have Pillar on Xbox One. Nine twenty seven, Armello on the Switch. X Order on the Switch. Life is Strange Two, Episode One on PlayStation and Xbox. Towerfall, Nintendo Switch Edition on you guessed it here, Nintendo Switch. What? Just whispering pillows no on, on the Switch. And then on nine twenty eight. Pankapu the Dream Keeper on the Switch. Brave Dungeon plus Dark Witch's Story Combat on the Switch. Dragon Ball Z Super Budoden on the Switch. Damn. FIFA 19 on Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. Amnesia Collection on Xbox One. And then next week, it is October. So on October 2nd, we have Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise on PlayStation 4. Here you go, Joe and John, I guess, whatever. Forza Horizon 4 on Xbox One, which will be on Xbox Game Pass. I didn't like that. If you pre-ordered it, you get to play it on the 28th of September. Yeah, but if you pre-order it, you're a sucker because you get it for free with Xbox Game Pass. No, but I wanted the VIP and I wanted all the extra cars because I like racing games. Is that right. accurate, the Xbox Game Pass? Because I heard Tomb Raider was supposed to come out. and that didn't come out. <laughs> That's why I said it the way I said it, jackass. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was just checking. See, so I, I, I didn't look into it too much, but when I w- had my Xbox up and I was looking for Tomb Raider, it said that you had to buy the 12-month subscription of Xbox Game Pass in order to get the Forza. I don't or at least that's how I read it. Maybe that's not true. Wait, when you were looking at, did you say when you were looking at Tomb Raider? When I was trying to get Tomb Raider, uh-huh. I also saw that it said if you bought the 12 month Game Pass subscription, you could get Forza. I didn't see anywhere where it said you could get it without the 12 month. So I don't, I'm not, I didn't look into it. That's just what I read. Oh, well, that might, maybe that I'm might wrong. be some fine print because what they, they've announced it and talked about it multiple times. They said if you have Game Pass, Whatever game comes out that's an Xbox game, you Exclusive. get. Exclusive. Exclusive. Okay. John or uh, Joe, what were you going to say? 
No, I just said exclusive. Oh, okay. Are you going to say something else? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Valtherian Arc Hero School Story on PlayStation and Switch. Mutant Football League on the Switch. Mega Man 11 on PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. Astrobot Rescue Mission on PlayStation. So who's getting Mega Man? I already played the demo. It's awesome. Me too. It's dope. <laughs> it's fucking awesome because you can, yeah, it's so you can awesome. switch the, the powers. You don't have to like go into the whole level as that one power. You can just push yeah, a button and it switches the Mega Man's powers. It's fucking badass. Yeah. I, I know nothing of Mega Man. Sorry. Neither do I. The the only exposure I have to Mega Man is South Park, where it's Cartman's birthday, and he's like, "Ah, you're getting me the yellow Mega Man. You're getting me the red Mega Man." Hmm. That's remember, everything coming out this week. Go ahead. I John. remember playing Mega Man when I was a kid, but that's about it. Mega Man introduced me to rage quitting. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely, it did. It was hard as fuck. Especially it still that, is the guts man level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to move on down to uh, one segment that we have now introduced, and it has, like, the best music in the land. Um, so it sure is the happiest. So, fuck you, Chris. <laughs> let's, happy, happy. let's get to it. The more you know, with Captain Willie. All right, this week on The More You Know, I thought it'd be interesting to get to know the members of the podcast a little better. Um, I wanted to know uh, if you guys have any stories behind your gamer tags, uh, whether it's this gamer tag, a gamer tag you used to have. What's the origin or the history behind choosing whatever name that you have for your gamer tag? Okay. I'll go, go I'll, I'll go first. I'll go first. Um, let's see. So mine is Prodigy Drone, and this started off when I was working with Joe's wife at work. Um, she ended up starting off when I first met them. She was my trainer at the time at work, and there was a point in time where – she was training me and I just started learning pretty quick and she's like, Oh, you're pretty cool. You're, you're, you learn fast and stuff like that. And I, I was like, Oh, so I'm like a prodigy. And she was like, no, I'm not saying that. And that kind of stuck with her as yeah. prodigy. And she pretty much calls me prodigy ever since. And then that just kind of evolved into my gamer tag. Um, because later on we just, we got with the drones and kind of put last drone as our last name. And so, um, just kind of was chosen was prodigy for me. So nice. It was chosen for me. You didn't get to pick it. It was chosen for him. Well, I you know I honestly prefer was- prodigy drone uh, uh, as as or I prefer it more than chip fiddler. Yeah, which I used agree. to be your your gamer tag, chip <laughs> fiddler. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I like prodigy better. <laughs> <laughs> Should we dig into that one? Why was it chip fiddler? That had to be a poker, yeah. right? Wasn't it? Yeah, so um, I was a big poker player back on the Xbox 360 days, and me and a f- my friend Ray, I was first. I had a my gamer tag was Upper Rogue, and it was just a, a chosen one um, through the Xbox, and yeah. I was like, "This fucking sucks." And so I was gaming on the Xbox 360 with my friend Ray, and he saw. And I was like, "Dude, Upper Rogue sucks," and finally. We were playing this guy on poker, and I think it was we were playing against a computer, and his name was Chip Fiddler, and we just laughed for so much. And he's like, "Dude, that's who you should fucking be as Chip Fiddler," and just <laughs> it was just, we were drunk one day, and I just went ahead and fucking changed my name to that. So Com- nice. compared to the names that Xbox gives you nowadays, Upper Rogue isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, my sister in law had uh, the suavest spoon. Oh, the suavest spoon, nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's where my gamer tags came from. All right, I'll go next. So, demonic drone comes from so 
we were sitting there, as Chris said, we all got together. We were trying to figure out our names that came with drone, right? And the, Joe had his, Chris had his, and I'm like, I don't know what I would do. I kind of want to do video game related. So one of the, my favorite video game movies is, of course, Grandma's Boy. And the game that they are developing in that is called Demonic. And that's where I got Demonic through and Drone. Demonic Drone comes from Grandma's Boy. Cool. Nice. As for my previous gamer tag, it's not such a long story. Um, Wasteland Soldier, which I still miss and still constantly think about going back to because it was one of my favorite gamer tags. Not my only other one, but uh, it comes from Bone Thugs and Harmony. Um, they say that in one of their songs, Wasteland Soldier, and I just. That's what I threw as my gamer tag back and in the day. You still have that one because we played Smurf on uh, Overwatch with that one. That's not the original one, though. That one has a uh, U instead of an A because I couldn't take the other one. Oh, uh, okay. So that's not the real one. My PlayStation one's a real one because that one's Wasteland Soldier 1 because, you know, PlayStation's stupid and you can't change your name. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. So I do miss that gamer tag, though. Joe? Joe? Okay, so mine's Deuce um, because I'm the second named after my father, so I didn't want to be called second drone or two drone, so I said, what the hell, I'll just say Deuce. Um, so mm. that's why it's Deuce drone, because I'm the second. Before that, it was Flagman83, um, and in my Halo days, you know, um, Capture the Flag was like one of my favorite games to play and when it first kicked off I was like okay I live in Flagstaff I love playing capture the flag and I'm you know always the one carrying the flag so I said okay flag man and then 83 is the year I was born but then uh, a lot of that um, changed when we had trolls in Halo and they were like hey fag man so <laughs> no <laughs> yeah <laughs> And then going back, well, I'm not going to go back further than that, but um, yeah, so those are my two. <laughs> I like Deuce uh, better. You know the funny thing I was going to say, why didn't you just make it flag fag since you were all over the flags? <laughs> <laughs> ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Chris oh, thought it was funny. You're going to get some hate mail for that one. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. Yeah. Back in SOCOM uh, days, I was UTI Joe because I was going to the Universal Technical <laughs> Institute. And they were like, dude, does it bird when you pee? <laughs> so, yeah, that I would have like, kept that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's and then great. I actually used it. I reversed it. And then every time I, I'd kill somebody or we'd win, I'd be like, oh, it burns. You know, nice. after the match was over. So, <laughs> but yeah, right. tons of trolls on SOCOM. Oh yeah, that's a good time. All right, Captain. Uh, well, mine. Um, Change it back in. No, <laughs> back in on Halo One on the original Xbox. Uh, I we were playing with a bunch of people. I always had LAN parties and uh, tried to get my dad to play. And his name's William. Goes by Bill. I, so I was, created a gamer tag for him on our Xbox, and it was Captain Willie. And then he played it a few, a little bit, uh, and he ended up getting sick. So he's got Lou Gehrig's disease. He can't use his hands anymore, so he can't play. So anyway, I took over the gamer tag, and I've had that tag for 17 or 18 years in different forms. I had to add access to it because I let my uh, Xbox Live membership expire, and I couldn't remember the password to my old one. So now there's X's on the end of both ends of Captain Willie. Hmm. Yeah, that's cool. You don't, yeah. don't want to give him the gamer tag Buffalo Bill. He puts the lotion on its skin. No, oh, that's Wild Bill. Sorry. Change it, John. Change it. The time <laughs> has come. What? <laughs> what? what? I Cap I like his name. Damn it, Cap Captain Drone. Nope. I am Captain Willie for life. <laughs> well, maybe not for life. My nephew's name is William. He was named after my dad. Um, if he ever comes to age and wants Captain Willie, I will hand it off to him. And then who are you going to be? Your mom. 
your your mom drone. I think, I think your mom's taken. Uh, uh, my other my other gamer tag that I play the Smurf. I just created it uh, is Drill Bit because that's my nickname at work because I stab myself in the hand with a drill bit. And now every everybody calls me Drill Bit. It's a great because oh, yeah. most people don't know my name, so they don't know who to get in trouble when I do something wrong. It's great. Ah, a drill bit messed bit. up. What's his name? I don't know. Dang it. Yeah, it's perfect. Scapegoats. I don't know, though. I mean, your whole segment intro with Captain Willie sounds better than with Drill Bit. No, that's true. It that's flows true. nicer. I'm going to I'm gonna be sticking with Captain Willie for a while. My nephew's only two, so I got a little ways before he can even try and take over. Cap. Okay. Okay, you're good. Yeah. This, this podcast will be dust by then. We'll be fine. We just got to come so. up with something that he'll like and he'll be like, oh, I'll do that. Yeah. I if I will. Like I said, it's it's been at least 17 years as Captain Willie. I don't know that, I would, that I'm going to be willing to change. Plus, it's easy nah, to say like when it. you're in a match, like too, you know. Yeah. Captain, Damn it, Captain! Captain what the Captain. fuck are you doing? <laughs> Why did you hook that Reaper into uh, his ult? <laughs> I'm always yelling free Willy when, when we go out and play first person Kendall shooters. Kendall always but... calls me Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> uh, that, yeah, you said Kendall? Yeah. yeah Kendall, Kendall, yeah. He, he's always calling me Prodigy, so... Is he? I'm like, That's no, funny. this well, is Deuce. He's like, well, oh, my bad. And then now like, he doesn't call anyone anything because yeah. he doesn't play anymore. Yeah. He does not his turn on his Xbox or what happened? Does anybody know? Oh, he doesn't live with Mitchell anymore. So don't, we don't really get a status update. Nope. Oh, he doesn't have power. They are, they're out in Mississippi, remember? He doesn't live with Mitchell anymore. But they're in Mississippi. Yeah. Come on. Did he leave the state? He left the country? Well, maybe he took up playing the banjo. I don't know. Okay, well, he, I don't know. Kendall's dead then, I guess. He so, might be. <laughs> we don't know. Man. Maybe he's too busy with those fag staffs. <laughs> Could be. Hanging out with Fagman83? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Jeez. it's not just me that's going to get the hate now. <laughs> <laughs> no, this whole podcast is fucked. So. My email is consoledrones at gmail.com. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> four slash prodigy. There you go. <laughs> four slash prodigy. That was not that. Miguel had started this. I can give you his credentials if you just send us the email. Just put four attention, slash bag man. Attention, Miguel. Yeah, attention, whoever, whichever one of us. Yeah. Attention, douche, douche drone. Yeah, I get that too. <laughs> oh man, he's he's on a roll today. I mean, oh, no. he can't All stop. Right. That will wrap up the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Captain Willie. You You're don't need to know stuff. anymore. <laughs> Until next having, time. I was just having fun watching Miguel bury his, his yep. hole there for a minute. Oh, with the flagstaff? Yeah. All right. So okay. uh, we'll Flag move staff. on down. <laughs> 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 Let's move on to our what the fucks for the week. And now it's time for our what the fucks for the week. What the fuck? Let's start off with the star of the show this week, Miguel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Miguel, do you have any what the fucks guy? Um. Yeah, what the fuck you, Chris? <laughs> right on. No. <laughs> I'm glad you got um, that one in this episode. Uh, yeah, you know, every episode got to get that in there. Uh, my only what the fuck, and I sent this to Joe in a message, is I have 600 points in my fantasy league. This is my $100 league. Beating everybody by 50 points, like overall score. I know it doesn't matter, but it, I'm still what the fuck. Um, yet my record is one and two. What the fuck? That fucking sucks. I hate when people can have... Why does everyone have a good week? To play me. It's annoying. I hate it. Called gambling, I think. Yeah. But yeah, I yeah, like I like you said, I know it doesn't matter. I just wanted to what the fuck that because six hundred points, I'm consistently hitting two hundred a week and have the highest overall score, yet I'm in like seventh place. 
Hmm. 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 Were we gonna say interesting? Uh, no. I mean, I yeah, I <laughs> I feel the same way. Um, uh, in our league, yeah. I don't want to talk about your league. Your league is your league was your family league was fucked from the beginning. Cause people just yeah started drafting weird shit at the beginning. But anyway, that's why I'm three and zero. Oh. Sorry, Joe. Did you get rid of Russell Wilson? No, he's still sitting on the bench. Hmm. Nobody took my homes. This is my homes, Joey. That's the name of my team, too. And he's doing amazing. Yeah, whatever. That's all right. Matt Ryan oh, yeah. blew it up last week. I still lost, though. So did Cam Newton. Yep. And I have both of them, but I still lost. That's the only what the fuck I had, other than what the fuck you, Chris. <laughs> All right, so let's move on down to John. John, do you have any what the fucks for this week? Um, I cannot think of any at the moment. So, no, 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 no God of War. What the fucks? Oh, uh, if Atreus had talked back to me the way that uh, he talks back to his Ooh. dad, I would have beat his ass. He pissed me off so bad in parts of that game. When you get to that certain point, yeah, I wanted to smack him. They're like, who the? There's no way I'd let my kid talk to me that way. Yeah, man. Anyway, so what the fuck, Atreus, you little bitch? Dang, nice. Yeah, damn it. What the fuck? Yeah, boy. Just build up at emails. All right, Joe. (laughs) Do you have any what the fucks this week? Yeah, I wouldn't have left a mark. Okay. (laughs) You would have gone AP on his ass. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Joe just load him up. Load him up. <laughs> oh. We're going back to 2008 where you could say these kinds of things and no one would get upset. Right? Yeah. Um, my what the fuck is... Okay. Well, uh, who's who's the goat? I'm sorry. But uh, uh, most completions all time. I'm sorry. What? What? Ready? Wait, what? Drew Brees? Excuse me? Uh, Statistically, Drew Brees is the greatest quarterback. Okay? That's still playing. Statistically. Okay? As the uh, for the quarterback position, Drew Brees is greater than Tom Brady. I don't know. Those five rings on his hand kind of Okay, now, okay. Did he win those rings by himself? You can argue that point, but if you're going to say that Tom Brady has the most wins, it's a team sport, and the Patriots could be possibly the greatest um, franchise, okay? But then again, the Steelers have six, right? So that throws the Patriots out of that. Belichick could be the greatest coach of all time. There's, There's no doubt about that because he's changed personnel, the only thing that stayed consistent is Tom Brady, but I would have paid money to see any other quarterback in that same position, and they would have had better results than Tom Brady. John Elway? Yeah. Aaron Rodgers. You put Aaron Rodgers in the, on the Patriots team, they would have had clean sweeps on the Super Bowls. They would have, not, they would have made it every single year. Just because Aaron Rodgers is a more accurate quarterback, and if Aaron Rodgers would have had the same O line that Bitch Brady had or has, then yeah, you keep him upright. You're you're talking a greater quarterback than Tom Brady. Tom Brady sucks as a quarterback, and he is not the goat. He is the most winning quarterback. Okay, but statistically, at the quarterback position, he sucks balls, and he <laughs> trails in comparison to Drew Brees. So there. I, I don't know though. Do you think that's Tom why the balls wears... didn't have any air? He sucked it out of them. Yeah. yeah. Do you think Tom Brady wears all his rings on one on his throwing hand, or do you think he spreads them out? I think he puts them on his off hand. Off hand. He shoves them up his ass. Yeah, I think he shoves them up his ass. Yeah, ripped for his pleasure. <laughs> or they're all like cock rings for Bill Belichick. So when he fucks him in the ass, he gets oh my god, feels them. <laughs> But I have the statistics, okay? Passes, no. So having to do with Bill Belichick and the, the past? 
Actually, what? No, no, no. I've got statistics, what are those statistics? between Breeze and Brady. Okay, Brady has played one year longer than Breeze. Drew Breeze has 6,326 passes completed. Brady only has 5,693 pass attempts. Drew Breeze is 94,23. Brady is 8,905. Passing yards, Drew Brees is 71,523. Brady is at 66,803. Passing touchdowns, Drew Brees is 496. Tom Brady is only trailing him by two at 494. Tom Brady does have a higher passer rating over his career, 97.5. And average passing yards per game, Drew Brees is 283.8 and Tom Brady is 260.9. So, the statistics are there. Drew Brees <coughs> is better than Tom Brady. And I'm tired of Tom Brady being the GOAT. He's and not. To add, on, to add on to that, I mean, last year, Carson Wentz threw one more touchdown than Tom Brady did, and he played like four less games. So he's not that good. No, yeah, but he doesn't really have rings to move around. I mean, he's only got one ring to put on one of his fingers. Well, he can move better because they're not up his ass. He wasn't even starting for that right <laughs> He doesn't Man. have to hobble so they don't fall out. No. <laughs> yeah. So. That's my. Anyways, <laughs> do, do you have any? Do you have any more? Or is that well, it? That was well it. to to add on the quarterbacks. I mean, congratulations, Mahomes, on your record breaking and your uh, first year as a starter. Yep, thirteen touchdowns, most ever in the first three games. Beat out Peyton Manning and oh Tom Brady. So, sure is great if you have him on your fantasy team. Yeah, well, I have yeah, him. I'd I rather have, him, have on, him on my actual team. <laughs> well, yeah, I would too, to be honest. Not that so. I'm putting down Russell Wilson, but you are. But he's a midget. Yeah, he's. So he can breeze. he can ball though. He can ball. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he can. It's gonna be fun on Sunday. Yeah, buddy. Speaking of Sunday, John, go ahead. Yeah. What the fucks? Son, what? Oh, never mind. You already went. Chris. Chris. Hey, there it is. What the fuck, Cardinal? Um, Didn't they win? No, we lost. <laughs> <laughs> we lost. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if he didn't know that or if he just wanted to hear you just say it. I'm no, sure he actually, wanted, I'm sure you wanted to. I couldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. <laughs> it's all good, man. I'm used to it. It's cool. You have to be used to it. You're a Cardinals fan. Yeah, it's the, exactly. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It's cool. So, yeah, uh, I, my what the fuck this week is about the Cardinals, but more of a, a situation that you'd throw a rookie in at four minutes, four and a half minutes. I don't think that was the right call. Yeah, I agree. I was saying what the fuck to that too. It's like why? Why would you set your rookie up for failure? That's just dude. Two minutes. You got four and a half minutes to go in, and you have two points. You're under. You're under by two. It's like good luck. Go get us that field goal, kid. You know. And with the situation of not practicing with our with our number ones is ridiculous to me for the coach just to do that. And he wanted to have a spark is kind of what he was saying, and I think that's he's full of shit, and he's oh. reaching for desperation moves and shit. He was hoping for, like, a Baker Mayfield situation. Exactly. Yeah, but, but Baker Mayfield had more time. Yeah, I mean, it was really fucked up of him to throw him in there with, the, like, we're trailing by two, go get in there and win this. It's like, well, they, I, I did win the Heisman, so, you know. Oh, we're, we're talking about Rosen, right? Yeah. yeah. You, you yeah. can't. You can't do that did, to pretty much any. Did Rosen any win the Heisman? Game. No, Rosen didn't no, win the Heisman. Mayfield oh. did. Okay. Joe's was talking about good. Mayfield. No, yeah. Well, I, I was just I was commenting was, on, he, on on Miguel's statement. He was jabbing me with. No, I'm not his jabbing you. I got you. I understand. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not jabbing you. He also won the Heisman. What just is that, a Joe? Prick. Well, no, just I'm a just saying prick. he's he's like. I don't know. I think he's more of an accomplished quarterback, and he's he's more elusive than than Rosen is. I don't think Mayfield in his situation, in the in being on the Cardinals, would have been successful. With that, that format, would have been yeah, wouldn't have been successful either. No, so why why did they take Bradford out? Because Bradford's a bitch. 
<laughs> that too. Are they gonna leave him out? Is he going to start on Sunday, or are they going to put no. in Rosen? The Rosen's starting. They're st- he's our starter nice. forever now. Nice. They made Ro- Rosen's debuting his full game against Seattle. And Bradford gets to sit on the bench and make money. Yeah, exactly. He's still making money, no, regardless. Even if he goes off our team, he's guaranteed whatever. But yeah. it's, um, I guess since he didn't perform, <laughs> uh, we get to save a bunch of cap space, uh, according to all the talk right now. So, But since it doesn't matter. What? What's that? He didn't do what? He didn't perform. Oh, okay. He didn't yeah. rise to the occasion. You know. He didn't rise to the occasion. You're right, Joe. That was a good one. That was a good one. Um. But yeah, we'll we'll see what happens this week. I just thought that was fucked up that they did that to the rookie. Um, I don't think anybody would be successful in that situation. So that's Tom pretty much. Brady would have been. Shut up. No, for once, for story. once, I agree with uh, Chris on a Cardinals thing. So there's that. So what the fuck? I agreed with Chris. Uh oh. Hey, that's that's good. That's good. Um, I it was actually have- really bad watching it. It was. It 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 hurt. I was cringing. Like I didn't even want to watch it. So I really wasn't. I was kind of just sitting there cringing. Like fuck, this sucks. Huh. But anyways, uh, 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 what the fuck is up with everybody putting down Dak Prescott? He's garbage. That's what the fuck's up with it. Fuck the Cowboys. <laughs> so I have a I forty stories from last week that I totally forgot about, and Ooh. it's actually a totally memorable moment. Um, and I couldn't believe I forgot it for last week, but basically I was driving home on the I forty, um, and you know, right as I get to my exit, you can you can go about seventy five right there. So I'm I'm passing this truck, and I look over. And I see a coyote, and he's literally running next to my car. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, thinking like, oh, wow, he's pretty fast. And <laughs> and all of a sudden, he fucking crosses right in front of me, and I killed this fucking coyote. Like, I murdered him pretty bad. Nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> big old crunch and everything. And, oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, shit. Car was style. flying in the back. What's that? Is your car okay? Car's fine. Good. Car's absolutely fine. There's some fur on underneath the bumper. Some gray the fur. World is a better it. place. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's one less coyote out there. Yep. Um, no, I didn't hit an anvil or hit a roadrunner. I was gonna say maybe he was chasing the roadrunner. That's why he was running so fast. You know, could could have been. Yeah, hey, I was at least waiting you didn't for that. Run over a tree stump. <laughs> 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 It's funny, as my brother started listening to the podcast, he will get that reference. That's good. That's good. His yard. Oh, man. We're just stirring shit up all, all oh, yeah. this whole podcast, huh? Yeah. Man. Um, so, yeah, that was my other what the fuck. Um, bring it into this week. And then uh, one more what the fuck. Not really a... It's more of a what the fuck, Joe? What's up with this organ thing? What's going on, man? Oregon? Oh God! What? Because somebody <laughs> somebody left a comment because I was shitting on Portland, and I responded. I said I'm not. I wasn't shitting on all of Portland. I said just downtown. Portland was beautiful, except downtown. It smelled like piss and vomit. That's it. But Portland was cool. Other than that, you know. Where did this uh, comment come from? Did it come from Podbeam? I can't. Yeah, Podbeam. Haley. Haley, Haley Charles sixty nine. Yeah, Haley. 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 Oh. Hey, Bay. Hey, Lay. She she commented is like, "Why are you shitting on Portland?" Laugh out loud, and I was just like, "Hey, I'm just stating facts here. Make it here. smell better. Make it smell better. You know, give the homeless potpourri and and you know, a Mr. Clean Sponge, and the city <laughs> would be perfect. You know, <laughs> Haley. Uh, Haley, you stay Haley. inside your house anyway. You shouldn't be offended. You well, don't go I'm anywhere. I'm saying is, if you shit on Portland, it'll smell better. <laughs> <laughs> Gal, are you are you familiar with this listener, Haley? Yeah, it's Haley. I'm just kidding. It's Haley. She Haley? actually messaged me today and said, "Hey, I'm listening to your podcast." And I, t- or no, she said, "I'm listening to you." And I was like, "Well, that's kind of creepy." <laughs> You're like, "I'm on the shitter right now." <laughs> <laughs> Make it oh my fun. god! No, she's one of Mitchell's moderators. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Hi, Mitchell's moderators. What's up? What's up, Haley? So yeah, I'm that, so enthusiastic. 
What's up, Haley? Hey, what's up, Haley? <laughs> yeah, her and I both agree that Mitchell's a bitch, and we oh, say yeah. it all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's great times. I mean, right. Awesome, so perfect. Mitchell, she Mitchell. Yep. so she has something in common with all of us. Then that's good. <laughs> that Mitchell's a bitch. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Hi, Mitchell. I know you don't <laughs> listen to this shit. He <laughs> <laughs> might know because she'll be like, "They were calling you a bitch on the podcast." Be like, what? <laughs> all right, let's let's talk shit about. Let's, should we have a segment about talking shit about Mitchell <laughs> as one of our segments to see if he'll finally listen? I don't think. Maybe I, I don't think we need a three hour. Stream. I don't think we need a three hour <laughs> podcast. And I don't have time for that. <laughs> All right. Matt, we'll do it once a month. Okay. All That's right. Special. Yep. It's the um, Mitchell's a bitch special. Mitchell the Mitchell. Anyways, yeah. can we go back to this Dak Prescott thing that Chris just stopped in its tracks? I did. Uh, did anyone else want to talk about that other than me hating on Cowboys? No, I don't Cowboys really give a suck. shit. I don't care. Okay. No, he's just, he's doing shitty, man. Like, he ain't done shit all season. It was amazing how many posts and uh, things talking smack about Prescott and all the NFL memes that were just put. Oh, yeah. Like, wow. Well, I think it was mostly about their fans because the one I saw the most was the uh, guy holding the Prescott jersey when Romo was walking out of the game. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is what you got. Yep. But he is doing absolute trash, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good, because fuck the Cowboys. Agreed? Yep. Hey, Agreed. we agree on something! Yeah. And uh, yeah, on. and you know what else? Fuck Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you like that? You like that? Yeah. No, it's... Uh, I'm not going to say it. It's copyrighted. I'm not going to say that. Oh, yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Did you hear about that copyright <laughs> that Kirk Cousins made? No. No. Something about the skull thing? I don't remember. No. It's, uh, instead of like, it's vike. Oh, you vike that? Yep. That's so stupid. Yeah, he he viked it last week. He He sure did. That's really dumb. He Uh, ate a buffalo sandwich is what he had. Yeah, he sucked on them buffalo balls. That's what it was. (laughs) With extra buffalo sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, you think the Buffaloes will have balls in, <laughs> in uh, Red Dead? Since we're talking about Buffalo balls? Maybe. I'm hoping, because I want to ride a donkey. <laughs> donkey. Yeah. Ride that ass. Yeah. <laughs> Call him like Donkey Dick or something like that, and I'll ch- chase people around. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this is going to wrap up our What the Fucks for the Week. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god, this is one fucked up episode. Um, do we have any main topics for the week, or are we just fucking around for random and we're closing it up? Oh my god. Uh, I don't have any main topic. I don't. We kind of just ran with it this week, so we'll move on down to our rando shit. Do you guys have any rando shit this week? I have a question for you. Okay. Um... Should I bench David Johnson? Ooh. I have I have this strange feeling, okay? It's Seattle. Um, I, mm. I, I, yeah. But it's it's at home. I don't know. I'm just I have this strange feeling everybody is shitting on David Johnson and I just have like this weird feeling that if everybody benches him, this is the game where he returns to his form and just runs wild all over Seattle. I'm going to say play him. I would say play him, too, but... I benched him last week. He did all right. Well, let's talk about this, Joe. Who else you got? Who you got? Yeah, what are your weapons? Um, Connor, James Connor, and let's see. Oh, this is this is Miguel's league, so... Levy and Bell's back? No, they're talking about he might go to Green Bay. <laughs> okay. So um, Connor's so far- the starter, then. My running back, I have David Johnson, James Conner. I picked up Aaron Jones, and I had Edel, uh, not Edelman, Rex Burkhead, and I dropped um, him because he's on IR. Yeah, okay. what happened? Do you know? Because I just picked him up, and he went yeah. on IR today. Don't know. Don't care. He's done. Patriot. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh, Is thanks for your... the information, Joe. Appreciate yeah. it. 
But is this yeah. your flex? This your flex spot right now? No, I've got I've got David Johnson as my RB two. Connor's my RB one. Um, and then I picked up Aaron Jones because the way he was playing last week, they're saying that he's going to be back in full force. So Ty Montgomery's not going any, no, anymore. No, because because even though Ty Montgomery had um, more carries mm-hmm. last week, Aaron Jones actually had the most yardage. So he actually broke out and ran more than Ty. Okay. Okay. So, so it's between him and Ty. They're probably going with Aaron. Yeah. Make. I mean, they're still, gonna, they're still going to do um, a committee, but I don't know. But they're saying Aaron Jones may, may take the, the workload. Yep. Me, personally, I would play David, but that's just me. I'm a I fan, so I'm a fan, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll play him just for the hell of it. I mean, I'm already, what, 0-3 in this league? Are you really? I think so, yeah. Who's taking the biggest hit for you? Is it David that's hurting you, or what? Well, last week it was I didn't play AP. I would have won if I, if I played AP. I have AP as well. I'd so. play him all the time, dude, but because he by, tore by it up last week. week too. They're on a bye this week. Oh fuck! Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't ask the question because AP, uh, the the Redskins, the Panthers, they're on a bye. So I, I'm stuck with James Conner, David Johnson, Aaron Jones. I mean, I could put I have Deshaun Jackson, Brandon Cooks. And possibly Josh Gordon if he plays in my flex spot. So this is my league, right, Joe? Yeah, the family league. Do you, what need, are these? Do you need a running back? No. No. Okay. I'm. I like. I. It was just. It was just one of those things where I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna play him anyway because I have a feeling something's gonna click, or you know, they're gonna expect Josh to just try and throw wild and. The only person that's going to stop David Johnson would probably be who? Is that a uh, is that a money league? Yeah, it's a what is it? Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. Guys, better be careful, Miguel. You're over here conspiring together over here, trying to make a deal with your well, running fuck, back. He's leading the league right now. He's number yeah, one. The rest of the but the rest of the league needs a chance too. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, but it's like him, his <laughs> brother in law, and then who else? Who's in third? There's like three uh, teams that are three and zero right now. No, there's only me and my brother-in-law that are three and zero. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> he's over here ready to screw his brother-in-law out of money. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, to go off, you know how earlier I was saying I had six hundred points, that's average two hundred per game. This mm-hmm. that that's not this league. This one I also have that though. I'm I'm three and zero, and I have six hundred and eighteen points, which is like seventy five points higher than anyone else. Mm. Yep. So. Uh, I'm doing just I'm doing just fine. And you drafted Kamara as your first one, right? Mm, yeah, and then it went Kamara, McCaffrey. Okay. And then I got Odell and I got Mike Evans. Let, let, let's go over this roster real quick. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> we already we went through your roster like how many weeks like 3 weeks ago. Oh, yeah, let's change. All right, okay. fine. Everybody knows your roster. We Okay, get it. I picked up Chris Carson today. That's good. I have picked Chris up, Carson. Picked up LaShawn McCoy last week and Tyler Boyd today, so. I picked up Seattle's defense. What? <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. I had to. I had to. I've been bouncing around from Arizona's defense to the fucking the Jets. Um, yeah, who, are you play, who, are you pl- who are you playing this weekend? I'm play, I have to play Seattle. He's not in this league with us. Against Arizona. Uh yeah, That's he's fine. Not, he's not in our league. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. This is a different league. I mean, uh, this is actually Joe's in this league. Yeah. But it was, so I do the same thing with the Chiefs, but I play the opposing team's kicker with the Chiefs. Yeah. So. But anyway. Yeah. That was my rando. Sorry, snowballed into something else, but. No, yeah, it happens. It's rando, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, you guys have any other rando shiz it this week? Mm, no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, no, so I uh, saw a video. No. Oh, um, there's a video on, I believe it was NFL Network, and they had Kevin Hart, and they were doing practicing safe sacks with Kevin Hart. Nice. <laughs> I recommend it. 
I gotta watch that. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That was definitely yeah. some bullshit calls on yeah. Clay Matthews. My God, man. I, I showed my wife the video, and I was like, "That is now a 15 yard penalty," and she was she couldn't understand. They got why, why? What's wrong with that tackle? That's like a perfect tackle. Like, yeah, no, he he landed with his body weight on him. Yeah, no what? body weight. Yep. And well, then that and then that guy, the one of the the defensive ends for Miami, yep. ended up tearing his ACL to avoid landing yep. on uh, yep. on the on Derek Carr. I should land on his fucking ass, man. That's Derek <laughs> Carr we're talking about here. Fuck the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You gotta be light as the feather. You be light as a feather. And stiff as you a know. board. Yeah. Yep. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. <laughs> and nothing will happen. Nothing bad should happen. That's how <laughs> babies are made. <laughs> I think you're right. No, that was from the movie uh, The Craft. It was the witchcraft movie. But anyway, um, there's another video out there where it shows like three friends. Uh, one's wearing a Tom Brady jersey, the other one's wearing a Clay Matthews jersey. And, oh, yep. and yeah. like they do high fives, and then their other friend is the ref, and he's like throwing the. He's like throwing the flag at him, and then they're sitting at a stoplight, and he honks, and the ref gets out, jumps out his car, and throws the flag. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's it was, what it's coming to, you know. That was a great video. Yes, it was. Yeah, I like. I do but, like what Clay Matthews said about the NFL. You know, he's like, going, like yeah, he's like going soft. soft. It's going soft. So I agree with him. Well, and even even the. Uh, Sportscasters are talking about it and saying that it's ridiculous. Well, here's a guy. This is ridiculous, but no. Yeah, Chris Collins was jackass. <laughs> Agreed. So, uh, I got something. What is with the uh, nothing against women, but the all women broadcast on uh, is it Amazon Prime on Thursday night footballs? Thursday yeah, it's, night it's football. The, it's the View on football or something like that, or. <laughs> ruthless I'm just fucking around no ruthless I haven't listened to it yet so I don't know oh here comes the man. I saw I saw oh, something here's, saying here's it, it was gonna have the yeah. uh, both women we were gonna have two women doing the broadcast on uh, on Thursday night on for Amazon Prime I think it was um and one of them I listened to like, some highlights from a game she called I can't stand her voice can't be any worse than like, Chris Collinsworth. Does he sound like Ron Wolfley? Oh, boy. No. Oh, I can't stand that fucker. <laughs> God dang. She she just sounded like she was not talking but yelling the entire time. Did she oh. say, here's a guy? Uh, now, here's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's a guy. Yeah. Here's a fella. I don't know. I just I have an opinion, but I think it's going to be a lot of statistics that are going to be spat because they want to feel like they know what they're talking about, and they probably do. I'm not saying they don't know what they talk about, what they're talking about. Good, good say. But you know, I just feel where it's going to be mostly statistics. You know, um, yeah. Where because you normally like 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 commentating, you'll have an NFL player who used to play football. And the color, have, and then yeah, and then you would have the other commentator, you know, so, Chris like Collins. Joe Buck. And, They'll know, talk Joe about Buck formations and, and stuff. Exactly. Well, yeah, like Tony Romo would actually say, "Okay, this is the play. This is what they're going to call. This is who he's going to throw it to," and he's like, you know, he's like yeah. a, a psychic when it comes up there because yeah. he, he's he's a football player, so he knows the play. I don't I, see that that's going to happen in this situation. I did really like. Uh, Romo's commentary. Yeah, when I, I did. Because yeah. it was like, okay, now I know what, what the quarterback's looking for and what he's looking at. And you don't have John Madden like, boom, <laughs> drawn all over the fucking TV screen, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Make, <laughs> saying shit like, in order to win the game, you have to score touchdowns. <laughs> I was like, that you have to score obvious. more points than your, than the other team. And you have to score more points than the opponent. Whichever <laughs> team stops the other team the most is going to win this game. <laughs> I feel like a, I feel like John Madden would just be entertaining at this point, though. Yeah. <laughs> just for like one game. I feel like John Madden would be a a drinking game waiting to happen. 
Yeah. Anytime John Madden is Captain Obvious, you take a shot. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, we're going to be drunk tonight. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, what... what is this is Thursday night football. Is that on? I, is it? Did they so. move the channel to Lifetime then? <laughs> it's Amazon oh, Prime. Time. Sorry, that was bad. No, they're doing all Christmas movies. Oh no, that's Hallmark. My bad. Oh shit! If that's your favorite channel. You should know all about that one. Yeah. Uh, how do we really feel about this? I really don't care because I don't watch football on Amazon Prime. That's Amazon's cool. NFL streams will feature an all-female commentary cast. So yeah, they're, Thursday they're, night football. They're the ones that are going to be like, oh, that was a brutal hit. I totally agree with that. Thank you, ref. Why are the refs so buff? I don't get it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll shut up. I'll stop. I'm going to stop. I think that would be entertaining if they were real like that. No, honestly, yeah, you know what they need to do to make – <laughs> I think that would be that guy with the ball. He's running oh my the God. field. That other guy without the ball is trying to drag him to the ground. You know that orange on their jersey? It just clashes and it doesn't go. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think, you know, what would be really you guys funny? said I was saying some bad shit earlier. <laughs> Jesus get all this Christ. Mail. <laughs> yeah. This is the Trololo episode. Haley. I feel I feel like in today's times, what I said earlier is not as bad as what you're saying now. <laughs> <laughs> We've already yeah, crossed I that threshold. That my complaint is not that they're women. My complaint is that I can't stand their voice. My it's complaint would be the knowledge of the game and actually the experience with playing football. That's okay. that's my gripe. Okay. I, I, I will say whenever uh, Collinsworth and uh, that other guy, oh, Michaels. Michaels, are broadcasting, I mute the game. I can't stand listening to them. Nope. I don't either. There's a guy. I have no complaints about it at all. I just think this is freaking comedic gold, but hmm. that's just me. They need to have, <laughs> um, you know, member of... What was it? In Living Color, Men on Film. They need to have those guys, like David Allen Greer and, and uh, uh, Damon Wayans, just go up in character and comment, commentate on a whole entire football game. I think that would be great. I, I think I that think would be should... awesome. But I, it would, people would be so offended by it. So offended. But, <sighs> I don't know. Who I mean, cares? They should have comedians in the booth. Like, yes. put Kevin Hart up there. Yes, or, or put some Rob comedians Riggle, in there. You know, do Rob Riggle. He knows football. Plus, he's Rob a Chiefs Riggle fan. would be good. So, plus he's a Chiefs fan. So, yeah, I'm good. They could throw <laughs> Kevin Hart in there, get him a a two foot little box to stand on, or not just where you see the desk in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the field. <laughs> What's wait, going on wait. down there? What happened? Try, pick me up. <laughs> I just don't think anybody would pay attention to football if there were comedians in there. Like they would just be laughing the whole time. Like it wouldn't even. <laughs> They'd be have, like, "Have Key and Peel do it." Oh, yeah. that would be really cool. That would be amazing. that would be awesome. Angle McCringleberry. Just, yeah. <laughs> just imagine a comedian over there. Just <laughs> never mind. I lost. I lost my thought. God damn it. Yeah. No more hip thrust. Oh. Do another one. No hip thrust. Comedian just says, here's a guy, and take a shot at Chris Collinsworth. Mm-hmm. It'd be funnier that way. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that would be just, it'd be amazing. But like Joe said, they would, a lot of sports fans would be offended. But maybe they uh, do like a, a side thing and, and try this with comedians just as the announcers. I think that'd be cool. They should you heard it here first. A private stream, you know, where you, you subscribe to like the Comedy Central app. Oh, I would subscribe all day and watch that shit live. And then they would they would do like their color commentary of the game live. Oh that man, would, that would be awesome. Would oh be yeah, awesome. there's some killer comedians out there right now that are are not afraid to cross the line. That aren't afraid to to say things that are totally inappropriate. Um, so and that's why awesome. it has to be a paid adult only service. Exactly. That would be cool. Yeah. But uh, if only I was funny, I would start that for you. Yeah, if only we were funny, there we would go. start that. Um, we're not really trying to be funny. We just like playing video games. Anyways, do you guys have any other random shit you want to talk about? We can close this bitch up. Going to Arizona on Saturday. Woo! Yeah, buddy. 
I'll see you there, guy. Predictions for the game. Fast. Real fast. Predictions. Score. Hawks win. Score. Uh, uh, 28-17 Hawks. Zero to zero tie. <laughs> <laughs> Prodigy? Oh, I'm going to say uh, 14-17 Cardinals. Nice. Because it's three on the Cardinals get seventeen. The defense. It's gonna have to be the defense. Yep, defense. The way yeah. Russell was getting pounded last week. Yeah. Well, we can get to we can get to a field goal. It's just that when we play the Seahawks or any time that we play each other, it doesn't matter how shitty we were. Every single game that I've seen against the Seahawks, even when we were a shitty team, we never really got our asses kicked except for one time. When Pete Carroll ran it up to fifty-five to zero, other than that, we've always played each other tough, and it's always been a very like hasn't been super high-scoring game. It's been defensive through through and through the game. So it's kind of why I went low. So my real prediction of this game, um, the winner is going to be the Rams. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe this will be the third tie. You know. <laughs> And then the Rams are like, what the <laughs> hell? What the hell's going on? No, my, my real prediction is 21-24 cards. Why are oh, you wow. all hating? What's that? Why are you all hating? I'm Why not hating. We're gonna lose? Well, I'm kind of hating because I want the Chiefs to trade for Earl Thomas. So <clears throat> The Chiefs are it. They, they may trade for Earl Thomas, by the way. Fuck you, Joe. Well, That's going to piss off Raider fans so much. Can I, can I borrow your jersey and I'll just paint it right now? <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll have to send it over to you if that happens. Yeah. Joe, aren't you glad you guys don't have Peters anymore? Yes. Yes, I am. So he can run his mouth on the sideline now. And Aqib Tlaib's out too, so if you're going to play against the Rams, play uh, wide receivers against the Rams. Oh, I have Cooks. No, against the Rams. Oh, so the Rams <laughs> play, the Rams play tomorrow, don't they? They play. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't have the Vikings defense. Oh, so yeah, play Diggs, Thielen, uh, Rudolph. Anyway, hmm. okay. Wrap it up, B. All right, so all right, so I think this is gonna wrap up episode number one oh two. This is season number two. Um, just a quick few announcements um, at the end of this. Uh, just wanted to let everybody know, please, please tell somebody about the podcast. Tell somebody to go listen to it. Um, Haley, we're counting on you. Um, you've responded, and now you're talking with us. So go tell a friend to listen to us. You better be careful. Please subscribe. Stab we're trying to build our community. <laughs> Don't stab me, Haley. Um, stab stab Mitchell. Miguel. You know him more. Mitchell. Um, Mitchell. Stab yeah. Mitchell. And uh, please, please call Mitchell a bitch for me. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I am out. Take it easy. This is his Prodigy, a.k.a. I'm going to go play some video games. I'm out. Peace. Uh, this is Willie, Captain Willie, a.k.a. John. Uh, shout out to my brother. He just started listening. What's up, Jason? Uh, and I'm going to try and play God of War, but I might get yelled at by my wife. So we'll see what happens. I'm out. This is Miguel. Um, I also have a quick announcement. Um, Haley, if you could just leave a comment somewhere, Facebook, Pod being somewhere, just throw out a fuck you, Chris. That'd be great. <laughs> Very much appreciate that. And any other listener, if you want to throw that out there too, it'll make us laugh, or at least me anyway. And uh, I just want to say this podcast had some dark humor. Don't take it to heart. Go on with your life. Don't get heard about stupid shit. And I'm out. Okay. Jeez. Uh, this is Deuce. A.K. Joe. And uh, since everybody's doing shout-outs, I want to shout-out to Tomas Chavez. I know he's listening. Good friend from high school. I know we kind of... He says we cock-teased him with episode 100, but we'll send you some stuff. Um, <laughs> Got to get you uh, your address and stuff. Um, shout-out to everybody. You should send uh, him a topless shot of John. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> there we go. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to go eat or something. I don't know. But game on. Fuck you, Chris. Game on. Game on.
That was pretty good, guys. That was pretty good. <laughs> Hopefully, we get some fuck you, Chris's. That'd be awesome. We should just make t shirts. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our new Castle Drones t shirt. You, I'm so down. I'm cool. Who's with it. Chris? Oh, that guy right there. Yes. <laughs> He's wearing his own shirt. And says, Chris. <laughs> I, I, who's Chris? I'm, I'm Chris. I'm Chris. <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that'd be awesome. Demon Talk Podcast Season Fucking Two. Shake the head. Power shake the head. Power shake the head. Power shake the head.